Hey everyone, my name is Paula. Welcome to Relatively Refined. Well, today I'm gonna to take you shopping with me. We're gonna hit up my favorite charity thrift store, and then we're gonna check out a little antique store near where I work. When we get back home, I'll share my haul with you, and we'll also have our Relatively Refined segment in which we share some of our viewers' thrifted treasures. So stick around, you don't wanna miss anything, and let's go shopping. Well, as always, I started out in the glassware department at this particular thrift store. This is a charity thrift store that is very near my school, and I do stop there fairly often. Their merchandise does change over pretty quickly, so I make it a point to try to stop in once a week or so and just kind of glance around. And you saw me looking at that sweet little etched glass. There was only one of them, so I left that behind. I thought these were really very, very pretty, and for a dollar a piece, they were a great deal. Now, I did not bring them home because I do not need those, but I did think that they were really very pretty. I loved these interesting mugs with the rose hand on the handles. They were very sweet. And those things in the back, I believe, are decorative plates. They're, they're fairly modern, but I thought in somebody's you know, beach house, they'd be very pretty. This set of Noritake dishes was lovely. And then of course, you know I had to check out this sugar bowl. It did not have the matching creamer. And what does that say? Kenfield maybe? I'd not heard of that brand, but I thought it was so pretty. It did say, as you can see, $10 for the set, but I honestly could not find the creamer and I did look around. Then I saw these bowls with the blue stripe and I thought they were really in great shape. I don't know, it, it says China on the bottom. I don't know if that says made in China. They were $15 for the set of three, which is a great deal if you're looking for bowls. I myself am on the hunt for some vintage or antique yellowware bowls. I'm always drawn to this wheat pattern it comes in many different um, iterations, but I do love that wheat pattern on things. This was a whole set, or part of a set anyway. And then this little sandwich set I thought was really adorable, and that cup seemed to be missing its underplate. This bowl was I believe made in China but look at that sweet little rose design and there's so many things you can do with one-off plates and bowls I know we've talked about this before on the channel but many uses for those there was the underplate so I reunited the cup and plate and then I spotted that beautiful platter back there I thought it was absolutely gorgeous it, it looked like it probably had some age to it so I reached back and grabbed it to take a look at the back stamp, and it was Homer Laughlin. It has some staining and maybe some crazing, but it was only a dollar, and I thought it was really beautiful. It's not food safe, I wouldn't imagine, but I, was, I would not use it for that anyway. And look at that rimmed soup bowl with the basket weave pattern. That made me think of my sister, Patty. She talked in her most recent video about her love of rimmed soup bowls. This dis set of dishes was really lovely. It was by Mikasa. I think it was called Intaglio. Is that what it said on there? And this sweet set with the little roses on it. It would be so pretty to have a little girl's tea party and use those fancy dishes. And look at that beautiful covered dish. This thrift store does a really nice thing. They set up some displays using the merchandise to look as though it were in your own home. They kind of stage it and they do a great job with that. Those beautiful Art Deco looking glasses were in this 
glass case or it was like a hutch type thing and I really tried to open it up but I felt like I was gonna pull the whole thing over so I stopped I love that mid-century coffee pot isn't that awesome and then these pretty blue and white dishes and then these really lovely cups and saucers I love this pattern on those and then this is really pretty as well. This is a cake plate and server. It was marked $10, I think, for the set. They had a rubber band holding them together. More of that wheat pattern that I love. This set of dishes looked like it could possibly have been somebody's um, wedding china or, you know, china they got for their wedding. It was very pretty, very neutral with that pretty silver band. A great bargain for somebody who was looking for a set of formal dishes. It had a lot of pieces, as you can see right there. And here's another table set up in a very summery blue and green and yellow theme. This table looks so pretty with all of those colors, and I thought those glasses were lovely. And then here is another example of their staging with the blue and white. And look at these beautiful bowls. Isn't that yellow and blue color combination just gorgeous? They are by Spode. I really loved those bowls and was very tempted to get them, but they were $24 and uh, for the set of four, and I just didn't feel like spending that kind of money on bowls that I honestly don't need. Here's a beautiful piece of furniture. It has kind of a rustic Italian or French country look to it. Very pretty. I looked all over and I did not see a price tag anywhere, but I thought that was such a pretty little cabinet. Great storage piece. When I was there that day, they had a lot of furniture, as you can see, very pretty things. This Asian inspired cabinet, um, would be an awesome piece in someone's house. A tremendous amount of storage in that. If you were short on storage, this would be a really beautiful option. You could keep any kind of thing in there. Blankets, pillows, dishes. And look at this beautiful buffet. And then I looked over at that fake ficus tree because I'm looking for one for my office. I have a camping theme in my office. Well, there's hazel whining, of course and I'm looking for a fake tree. Here is more furniture. Lots and lots of bureaus. I loved this striped chair right here. It was made of kind of a velvety or velour material. It was very pretty. And then I loved this chair. I thought that was really spectacular. I looked at it for a long time. I think it was priced at $95, which is an awesome price, but I didn't have a spot for it, or I don't have a spot for it currently. And more than likely next summer, we'll be putting our house on the market. My daughter will be graduating from high school, so we no longer will be required to live in this neighborhood in order for her to attend her school. And we'll be free to move you know wherever we'd like so I think we'll probably put our house on the market and look for something with a little bit more land or space around it here again you can see there's a lot of furniture there all right here we are at another store this is near the school where I work this is a, a antique store and I love that beautiful candle wicking that's what I saw right when I walked in and I happen to love that and then look at this beautiful porcelain box. Isn't that stunning? That blue color is simply gorgeous. It was $45, so I did not get it, but I loved it. And then look at this book, Gypsy the Talking Dog. What a fun title. I love old books. And then here is a blue and white planter. And I am looking for those, but that was a little bit too small for what I want. And look at this teapot. Isn't that interesting? I have never seen one shaped like that. All kinds of pretty blue and white. This little covered 
dish, trinket dish or whatever it is, is really pretty. You could make a beautiful candle out of that, I think. And then that beautiful Delft patterned teapot was also lovely. And that was 25. I thought this was gorgeous. Now, I, this is probably my regret for the day. I did not get this. It was $12. And it's just beautiful. It has some age. It's blue and white. It has all that crazing, and it's made in England. I may have to stop in after school tomorrow and pick that up. <laughs> and I thought that was really, really pretty. And then these were so interesting. They were kind of wall hanging, so they were flat on one side, those teapots. And then here's some more blue and white. Always a classic color combination and one that I just love. I was kind of looking for a blue and white salt box for my sister Patty. She's on the hunt for one. And then look at this crock. Is that not gorgeous? It was huge. It reminded me of when I was a little girl. We had a big one like that at my house in Vermont when I was growing up. And we kept kindling in it for the wood stove. And I, that, I think that was $99. I really thought long and hard about that, and I may go back and get that because I love it. I don't know what I would do with it. We don't have a wood stove, but that was a beautiful painted bucket there. Another Delft piece, that blue and white with the windmill, and then look at this beautiful flower frog. It's huge. I can't remember what it was. Do I show the price? Yes, $7, which was a great price, actually. They're so handy uh, for arranging flowers, and they come in all kinds of shapes and sizes, so they're beautiful as decor as well. And then this booth was really cool. It was a candle company, and they made candles in vintage and um, antique-type containers. They, they reused them and turned them into candles, and I thought that was so awesome. I love this one in the little vintage ice cream bowl, or really a footed dish. And then my new obsession is tins. Look at these tins. Aren't they gorgeous? Look at the illustration on that. And then this was my favorite one right here at the top. I love that. It was $25, which is why I did not bring that home. How cute is this picture? The woman who teaches next door to me has a dachshund that she loves. She would love that picture. And I was tempted by these little statues. I think that might be um, Schubert and Bach. Uh, my sons play the cello, so I thought those would be fun to give them for their rooms. But I did not pick them up. Pretty gravy boat and a covered dish. All kinds of fun stuff. It was really an eclectic mix of things in this antique store. I loved the silver plated bud vase. I thought that was just so pretty and delicate. It would look so gorgeous with a single peony or a rose in it. And then this tile is the home of Robert E. Lee painted on this tile. And that was $16. And then I thought these sconces were really very pretty. They would look great flanking a mirror. And this was a vintage brass bird cage for $30, which I thought was an awesome deal. I was thinking about my sister Patty. I know she was kind of on the hunt for a bird cage. And then look at this gorgeous platter. Beautiful, $45, but honestly, in my opinion, worth every penny. It's so beautiful. And then I really liked the fun yellow color of this Fiesta Wear pitcher. What was the price on that? $26. I don't really collect Fiesta Wear, so I don't know. That seems like it's probably a fair price, but I don't know much about it. And here's my regret for the day. I did not get this tapestry. I thought it was gorgeous. It's kind of laid over the edge of a table. It's on a curtain rod, but isn't that beautiful? 
it was, how much was it, $60, which I thought was a decent price for it. I don't think it's um, antique, it may be vintage. Very, very pretty. I think it was um, made in France, yes, woven in France. Some more gorgeous platters. They had a whole mix of things. And then look at these red, white, and blue dishes. Aren't those awesome? How pretty for your patriotic holidays. Make a great tablescape for 4th of July or Memorial Day or even Labor Day. There's another look at it. I just thought they were so unique in that octagonal shape. Here's another flower frog. That one was 12, which again is for an antique store, I think that's a decent price. And then look at this vintage lighter. I loved it. I mean, I don't smoke. I don't really know anybody who does smoke, but I thought it was really cool looking with the cut crystal or the cut glass. Very pretty. And here's something else that I didn't pick up, but I kind of wish that I had. It's this needlepoint pillow. I love that. Again, it's close to school, so I could swing back by if I really felt like it. And then you know I love to collect um, silverware, especially ones that are monogrammed or have pretty designs on them. And this was a whole basket of different sets of silverware. And then of course the linens. I love linens. I had a video where I shared my vintage tablecloth and aprons collection, but I do actually have a lot of napkins and I love these beautiful damask napkins or damask. I'm not sure how you, I always say it damask, but I'm not sure if there's a correct pronunciation or not. Maybe it's damask and damask are interchangeable. But those napkins were lovely nonetheless. Very pretty blue color. And then I really liked these bookends. They were solid brass. I think the set was 42. Yeah, 42, but beautiful heavy ones. Well, now that we're home, let me show you some of my treasures. I did not get all of these things on today's trip. I have some things that I've accumulated over the last few weeks, so I'm just gonna share all of them with you. And I'll also try to insert some footage of how I've styled them throughout my house if I have them styled. One of my newest obsessions is tins. I love decorative tins and I have managed to gather up a few of them over the last several weeks and I'm going to share those with you. These two were a Facebook marketplace find. There's this one with this beautiful design. Now they are, you know, on the older side, absolutely beautiful. Let me show you the decorative sides. Gorgeous. And then this one has this beautiful seen on it and then this is where you lift the top up and it has these little feet and I absolutely love these and I style them kind of stacked up like this and I'll show, um, I'll show you some footage of where I have these styled in my house at the end of this haul. All right I'm gonna have to find room to put these things down. Here's some banging and clanging going on. <laughs> Um, let's see. Oh, there's one more tin. I'm going to reach back here. I found this at that first thrift store that we went to today, this beautiful eight o'clock coffee tin. Now I can remember my grandmother used to drink eight o'clock coffee. It came in a tin. She didn't get the tins that were this big. They came in a smaller size and she always saved those tins. Oh, I heard something. I... <laughs> I did have a, I do have a music box to share with you. <laughs> so there's spoiler alert. That's what that noise was. Um, anyway, she always saved those eight o'clock coffee tins for coins or bobby pins, rubber bands, different things. You know, um, they really never threw anything away that could be useful. So when I saw this, it made me think of my grandmother and just such great memories. So I had to grab it. And I'm going to use this in my kitchen to store kitchen twine, cupcake holders, uh, coffee filters, things like that. So 
there is that tin. Hang on, I'm gonna put this down. All right, any more tins? I don't think so. Um, I'm going in no particular order because I just have stuff kind of spread out. So I will just, just bear with me. There's no rhyme or reason. <laughs> You know, I also love baskets, and this one was, I think this was a dollar, and it has a plastic liner, and I can envision some um, pots of pansies sitting in here and having this out on my porch. I thought that would be so cute. So I grabbed this. Um, also, I have been on the hunt for lettuceware or cabbage ware. And I cannot remember if I shared this in my last haul or not. It's sort of all running together. I, I had a number of things and so I separated it into piles and I, I don't think I've shared this. If I have, you'll see it again. <laughs> I'm very excited about it. But anyway, it's this beautiful um, cabbage ware made in Portugal little vase. I mean, not vase, pitcher. I'll use it as a vase. But I was so happy to find this. My sister Patty has a beautiful set of plates. So this was $4 at that first thrift store we went to. And I was super excited to find it. Um, you did see this in the video. This is that gorgeous Homer Lachlan plate for a dollar. And it does have, you know, some crazing and some staining. And I think there's a little chip. And like I said in the video, it's not food safe, but I'm not gonna use it for that. It's just beautiful as an underplate for a plant, you know, sitting on a shelf with something in front of it as a backdrop. I just love it. And you know, the gold paint around the rim is wearing off and some of this is worn out, but to me that makes it all the more beautiful. So I got that for a dollar. Let me set that down here. I should have organized this a little better. <laughs> it's it's hard. Now, spoiler uh, there was that spoiler alert of the little music and I did find um when I was in Florida at my mom's house, I found a couple of music boxes and I fell in love with them and she was so sweet and she purchased them for me. So let me show you. They are this little girl right here, this little Irish girl. And when you wind her up, she plays when Irish eyes are smiling. Uh, I thought she was absolutely adorable. And she is a little music box. So she spins around and plays when Irish eyes are smiling. And then her partner is this dapper guy right here with his, um, oh, there's a name for this walking stick in Irish, his shillelagh. I think that's called a shillelagh in Irish. And he plays, oh, Danny boy. So I think these are so adorable. I was so happy. So thank you, mom. I love them. Also, I got a pair, another pair of figurines. They are not music boxes, but they are musicians. And they are these porcelain figurines. They're blue and white, which of course, you know, is my favorite color combination. And it's a, a boy and girl and he's playing the violin and she's playing what looks to be like maybe a mandolin. And they are, I'm sure they're vintage. They're probably made in Japan. Those are the markings on the bottom, but I thought they were so sweet. And we have very musical children. They all sing and play instruments. And so I just love anything that reminds me of music. And I myself love music. All right. Also, um, at my mom's house in Florida, I got this little miniature Delft um, phonograph. Isn't that adorable? And you know, I love miniatures, as does my sister Kathleen. Um, and if you saw our Christmas exchange video, which I'll link above, you'll know that I sent her for Christmas a set of little um, Wade Whimsy miniatures because she sets little miniatures on her windowsills in her house, but I thought that was just adorable. So there's that. Um, also at the um, thrift store that we went to, the first thrift store we went to, I got this. Now this is something that's a little bit outside of my normal um, 
I would, I guess I would say decor style, but I'm very eclectic and I love lots of things. And I know my sister Kathleen will love this. And it is this awesome mid-century candle holder, candlestick. I call them candlesticks. People call them candle holders. I call them candlesticks. And then the candles themselves, I just call candles or tapers. You know, like in the game Clue, Mrs. Peacock did it in the conservatory with the candlestick. So I thought this was really beautiful. It's ceramic. There's the bottom. So I think it does have some age and it was $6 and I just loved it. You can put a, um, a pillar candle or you can put a taper in it. And so for $6, I just, I don't know, I thought it was so unique I had to have it. So I got that. And then um, also at that same thrift store, I got this glass jar. I love glass jar. I love containers of any kind. I mean, I, clearly I love lots of things. I'm who am I kidding? <laughs> I really, I love most things and that's a problem. But at any rate, I got this beautiful glass jar and it is filled with vintage thread. Now it didn't come filled with the thread. I, um, I bought the thread in a little baggie for $1.50, but they are wooden spools. And so I know that they are older spools of thread. And I, my goal is to get enough to fill up this jar. And I thought that looked so pretty. And the thread reminded me of my grandma Bunny, who is my dad's mom. And she was a wonderful seamstress. And um, she's, her house is the house my sister Kathleen and her husband live in. But I thought that was so pretty. I'm gonna set that aside. All right, you also know, if you've been watching the channel for a little bit, that I love to collect silverware, like silver plated or sterling, if I can find it, silverware. So I found this spoon and it does have a little bit of detail. It needs to be polished up, but very sweet and I think that was 10 cents so I will add that to my little picture of thrifted spoons that I keep at my coffee station and um, in a recent video which I'll also link I um, showed how I polish my silver when I get when I get it and it needs to be part of, to polished up or it's tarnished so I'll insert that and I'll also link it down below if you are interested let me see Okay, this next item I found at Goodwill, the Goodwill that's right near my school. And my sister Kathy, no, my sister Patty and I have been on the hunt for one of these things and I happened to find one. Now, it looks like a letter holder, but it's actually a toast rack. And in, in Ireland, especially, I don't, I'm don't. i sure in, in, uh, in England as well and probably Scotland, in the morning, if you're staying at a bed and breakfast and they serve you breakfast, the toast is in these little slots and they set this little toast rack down on your table. And it's just so elegant, it's so refined. And so I have been looking for one and, I've, and I looked on Etsy and they're actually, believe it or not, pretty expensive if you get them on Etsy. So I found this for 99 cents and um, I was thrilled to have it. So that was a really fun find, my toast rack. Um, let's see, also at Goodwill, I found something I probably really don't need either, another lamp. But this is gonna be used, I think, in a kind of upcycling of my daughter's bedroom. I'm gonna do a little makeover on her room. And I thought this was so adorable. And even if I don't use it in her room, it's a very petite size. And it, you know, sometimes you have a little dark corner in your house and you need a little lamp. And I just thought this was so cute. I love this kind of French courting couple. I think someone told me once in the comments that that's what they're called. And I love this lamp, very sweet. So that was $4 and it works. I've tested it out and it does work. So I'll set that aside. Something else that I found at Goodwill um, is this, this is extremely heavy, just a clear glass vase. I realized that I only have one kind of tall glass vase, believe it or not. So this was $2.99. This thing is heavy. It reminds me of the tartan patterned drinking glasses that my sister Patty has. I think they are um, anchor hawking. So I'm, I'm imagining there's probably a marking on this. Yeah, that's anchor hawking is 
I, I could put my glasses on and I could really see it. But um, for $2.99, this was a great deal. And it's just, you know, very simple and it will be totally useful, especially with summer coming up. Um, I like to have flesh, fresh flowers in the house. So I got that for $2.99. Set that down. And then um, at that first thrift store we went to, I got this beautiful tray. Ooh, that's gonna be tough to show you without a glare. Is that gorgeous or what? I mean, isn't that beautiful? I loved it. And I don't know exactly where I'm gonna put it. Um, it. It will be beautiful in the fall. So I may just hang on to it and put it aside until fall, but it was $5 and I thought that was such a great deal. You rarely see these. I don't think I've ever seen one at a thrift store before. So I grabbed that as soon as I saw it. All right, now um, back to Goodwill. I'm kind of flip-flop, like I said, there's no rhyme or reason, so just bear with me, I'm sorry. But at Goodwill, I found this silver-plated cake stand, and it definitely needs to be polished up. But it was, oh gosh, it would, I don't think the, it was like $2.99, I think it was so inexpensive. And when I looked at it, I put my glasses on, I was looking all over, I found a mark on here. Let me see if I can see it. I'm certain you will not be able to see it in the camera, but it was RLL, so I'm pretty certain that it is vintage Ralph Lauren, and um, or Ralph Lauren, I don't know which way you pronounce his name. But anyway, it's beautiful. And when this is all polished up, won't that be gorgeous, especially at the holiday time, um, you know, Christmas and all? absolutely beautiful. So for, I think it honestly was like $3. It may have even been less. It was shockingly inexpensive. I remember thinking, and this thing is heavy. It's very solid. So vintage Ralph Lauren. Yep. I'll take that. Thank you. And let me see. I am coming to the end of my haul, but I do have a couple of other things to share. At that first thrift store, I found these two, let me see if I can get this out, brass buckets. Um, ironically, they are made in, oops, they are made in Ireland. And they were, this was $5 and this was $4. And I'm gonna use them as planters. I think they are so beautiful. And for solid brass, $9, hang on, there we go. $9 for the pair, I could not pass that up. They will be awesome. Um, you could also store other things in them, um, but I'm gonna use them for planters. Set that back. And then finally, the last thing I'm gonna share with you today is this. This is a plate stand, I think, like a plate rack but I wanted it because I have visions of having a tea party. And I know when you go to a formal tea or a high tea or just, you know, afternoon tea, they often have these trays and this is where they stack your little, um, as we call them in our house, snacky snooze, your little scones, your sandwiches, and your little, um, petty fours and different sweets. I think typically you start with the scone, then the sandwiches are in the middle tier, and then you have your sweet treats and desserts on the top tier. So I, I'm not sure, I may keep it this color, I may paint it a different color, but this was $1.99 at Goodwill. So I was very happy to find this. And I believe, let me just look around, make sure I've shown you everything. That is it. So um, thank you so much today for coming with me to go shopping and then sticking around for the haul. Don't go away because we do have our relatively refined segment. If you are not already subscribed to our channel, we would love for you to hit the subscribe button and join us. We're hoping to get to 5,000 subscribers by the end of the summer. So we'd love for you to help us out in meeting that goal. Share this video with friends of yours if you think they'll find the content interesting and be sure to give us a thumbs up. All right, let's jump into relatively refines. Actually, before you go, I want to pop on and say that for the summer, our publishing schedule, our uploading schedule will be a little bit different. We will be uploading every Thursday. Um, 
a video once a week rather than our typical Mondays and Thursdays. But we will still occasionally upload on Mondays for different videos, thrift find of the month, summer favorites, or a special video. So be sure that you've hit the notification bell so that you will know um, and be notified by YouTube when we do upload on a day other than Thursdays. So for the summer, we'll be definitely on Thursdays and then occasionally on Mondays. All right, now let's jump into Relatively Refines. Welcome to Relatively Refines, where we share our viewers' thrifted treasures. Today's treasure comes from Mary Lynn, and it is this adorable wooden rooster. Mary Lynn says she doesn't think he's vintage, but when she saw him, she had to have him because he brings her so much joy. I can totally understand why. He is adorable, and I probably would have picked him up as well. Thank you so much, Mary Lynn, for sharing your treasure with us. If you would like for us to feature one of your treasures on our videos, then send an email to the address on the screen with a picture of your treasure and a little description, and we will be happy to include it in an upcoming video. All right, everybody. Take care, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.